Man's name was White Dog, and he called for a council with Captain Marsh. Peter Quinn, Marsh's interpreter, would help translate for the Wisconsinite, but halfway through a shot rang out. Scores of Indians appeared from their concealed positions and poured torrential fire into the company. Twelve soldiers and interpreter Quinn were killed in the ensuing gunfire. Yet the veteran captain managed to rally enough men for a return volley at the Indians, felling only one warrior. Marston took notice of how he was beginning to be cut off on three sides. Falling back, the men found only one escape route, a wide thicket that extended downstream for nearly two miles. Even here though, Indians were to be found blocking the path. The only option Marston's company had left was across the river. For a moment, he bravely led his men through the current as he was recalled to be an excellent swimmer. Under fire, he managed to guide several men across until a sudden leg cramp seized him, causing him to drown despite any effort to rescue him. 